Okay guys, last costume we're gonna do right now is an octopus. I have a few pairs of colorful long socks, which I'll hold on to for later. Get my assistant to help me with that part. And a large piece of fabric. What I'm gonna do with my large piece of fabric is cut it into a manageable rectangle. Fold it in half, one way, and fold it in half the other way. And this is where we're going to figure out where to put the eyes. So to make the eyes on octopus, we're going to do something similar. Take your folded piece of fabric, it's folded in half and then in half again tip that's the most folded, on the top of your head, go down and figure out about where your eye level is. It's about right here for me. I'm just going to mark it with a little safety pin. Right in the middle. Okay. Then, you're going to unfold your fabric. I'm going to change camera angles. <laughs> okay, so I have my safety pin marker here, which is about my eye level. And I am going to go ahead and unfold my fabric so that the safety pin is just on one layer and flat. Now, what I'm using for my eyes for my octopus are these sports drinks bottles. So they have a really cool bottom to them. So what I gotta do is cut off the bottom. I am going to use just a serrated knife Now, what I'm going to do is similar to our underwater explorer, I'm going to set my eyes under my fabric at about the eye level that I marked. I'm going to put them rather close together because they're fairly big. But again, we don't, even though this material isn't as stretchy as the other one, we don't want to cut too much. So, you can see, I have my round right there. I'm just going to make my little cross. See how far away from the edges it is? Remember, you can always cut a little bit more. If you need to. I'm do the same thing for this one. Okay. Now I'm going to cut on my two X's. Now we'll see how different this one is. Oh yeah, that's not going to stretch over at all. So now that I have my X here, and I know how much I got to go, kind of, I'm just going to use my scissors on top. And with this, we're definitely going to need to secure it with some duct tape. off a piece of duct tape. Huh. 
<laughs> it's fun. All right. Let's do the other one. Okay, guys. Now, continuing on the octopus, I'm going to cut off the corners in a rounded shape. It'll just look better when we actually put it on. <clears throat> so I have my fabric folded over still. My corners are lined up. Again, just like everything we've done today, this does not have to be exact or precise. Just a little clip rounding off the corner. And on the other side too. My fabric all lined out nicely and flat. Now we've got nice rounded corners. I'm also going to take this extra piece I had left over. It's a little thick right now, but I want to make a tie for when we put this on. So I'm just going to cut a tie. All right, we're back to decorate our octopus, and I have my awesome assistant here, <laughs> and we're going to just do a fun uh, pattern all over this fabric with some ovals. You mean circles. Too. Circles, ovals, and we just can go anywhere we want, lightly making ovals. We have a bunch of different colors. Mom, I'm making the magenta <laughs> over there. All right, I'm going to switch colors now to make Me sure. Too. Okay, guys, I'm back with my awesome assistant, and we're going to make our tentacles for our octopus. And we're going to stuff some socks with... Plastic bags! Yep. So... We're going to go one at a time. We don't have to overstuff. We just want to give them some body. Maybe one or two more in this sock. And one more. Makes the batter work. <laughs> All right. Wait, hold, and so we can show them our stuffed tentacle. And we're going to do these for six of our socks. 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 <laughs> Mom, you can't move your chair. One at a time? Mm hmm. That's one. Okay. <clears throat> See? One more. I laid them all out one by one. So now we have six tentacles, but wait a second. Hmm. An octopus has seven. Seven? Eight. Eight. <laughs> so I need That's one right. More socks. No, I have a special way that we're going to have our eight. Oh, our legs. Our legs. Stay tuned. All right, everybody, we're back to put our tentacles on our octopus. And, and I, I absolutely got messy. <laughs> yes, my assistant got messy. Surprise, surprise. All right, so assistant, will you hand me a safety pin? I'm going to put the tentacle facing up. I'm going to take a safety pin. Make sure I only get in the front layer. Close it. And then we're going to fold our tentacle down. And there's some more. All right, hold on. Mm -hmm. All right, these are our six tentacles. Of course, octopus have 
eight tentacles. Which we're going to use these two for... No, nope, we're going to have a surprise that we're only going to reveal with Hangs with Heather on how we make our seventh and eighth tentacle. Nine, All right, guys. Ten. Oh, I just didn't. Make sure you tune in to Hangs with Heather to see our final products.